for you a really exciting vlog it's going to be my behind the scenes of not the label and everything that went behind me launching my own brand for the first time ever and i'm so excited to share this with you guys because it's honestly something that i wanted to capture and film just for my own memories and for me to remember this really special moment in my life i wanted this vlog to be as raw and real as possible so it's definitely all over the place i just look at the camera whenever i felt like it or whenever important moments were happening or you know the highs the lows the good and the bad i wanted to capture it all for you guys i hope you all enjoyed and get to live the moment all over again with me i do want to take this time to just thank each and every one of you for supporting me for having so much patience throughout this entire process i know that i've been really mia here on youtube but i am back stronger than ever and a whole ceo no but seriously thank you so much for your love and support throughout the years especially for this big moment in my life and for supporting it as much as you guys have for liking for following for sharing for purchasing i appreciate you immensely thank you thank you thank you but let's jump right into the video so i am currently ready to have my first mini photo shoot at home joanne is actually going to help me shoot the main photo so i have my little anchoitas up my robe and the shirt under so let's shoot so for the backdrop i was thinking of putting two curtains and using it as the backdrop maybe in this corner since the window is facing this way and taping it from the top draping down and hopefully um, mixing these two different colors and then keeping it neutral with some pampas grass and um, the side table that I have so let's set the scene So here is the top, you guys clearly already saw it. Here's Joensi. And we have our sketchy made up set. I don't think it's sketchy at all. I it's actually it's potential. It's actually really cute. We we went all out. So let me show you guys. It's basically a bunch of curtains and sheets, like bed sheets, and then my chair, pompous grass, this little ladder with more um what is this curtain and this is what i'm wearing i feel like because i'm wearing white on white it's going to look weird but we're gonna we're gonna do what we gotta do Oh my god you guys you're not going to believe what i just got in the mail i thought these weren't going to get here before the launch day so i was going to add it afterwards but how cool and perfect are these oh my god i can't I'm going to be adding it to everything because I am so obsessed. I was going to just add them to the card holders as the tag, but I think I want to add them to the tops now because it's just so perfect. I got these organizers from Home Goods, so I'm thinking of putting them here with the other tags once I get them. So time to unravel all of these.
my god. So they were individually wrapped. All I hope is that there's none here and all of them are here. Today is June 16, which would have been my ideal launch day. And obviously, it has not worked like that for me. Um, it has been quite a few stressful days lately where I've just been hit with like so much doubt and fear and this sense of like rush of wanting to accomplish this dream of mine so badly. Let me mute my phone because it just keeps vibrating. Basically, I originally wanted to launch June 1st. That was like my ideal imaginary date. I actually ended up taking, I believe, two months from any, taking any partnerships or like any new brand deals because I wanted to focus just on Nat the Label and not stress all these other deadlines so i've just been working on whatever i had going on for um the month of may and like mid june but i ended up having a conversation with my manager telling her that i wanted to take a small break from taking in any partnerships because i wanted to strictly concentrate and dedicate my time to not the label and hopefully be able to launch june 1st which obviously didn't happen so i was pretty down about that and then I decided that I wanted to announce the brand so I can create like I guess a momentum or hype over the brand which everything went great like you guys took it in so amazing and honestly I was not expecting so much support so quickly early on without anyone knowing much detail about what I was actually going to launch you know I did give hints of what I was going to be working on, which was crochet, but I didn't specifically like say what I was going to sell and stuff. But the support was so overwhelmingly amazing for me and it pushed me to work so much harder. So I decided to give myself a deadline of launching June 16 and today is June 16 and clearly it's not launch day. I am very overwhelmed and stressed and just like lost in this process because at the end of the day you know i'm the first one that i in my family that i know to launch a brand so it's not like i have a blue book or someone guiding me or telling me these are things that i have been needing to find out on my own search on my own figure things out even like i i have like friends in the business that or social media friends that have their own business and stuff but i feel so intimidated or just like not okay asking them because i personally feel that in this business that i'm in people are very i don't want to say selfish but they don't necessarily love sharing the secrets of like this is how i was able to successfully launch my business or i recommend you this shipping company just like the smallest things about you know launching your own brand not everyone is open to share the secrets or how they figure things out so i have stopped myself from asking people in the business to for help and i know not everyone is like that because personally if one of my friends or colleagues reaches out to me i genuinely do not care to give 
everything to them like i don't care to give all the details i don't care to give like where did i get my shipping labels or x y and z because to me it's not about competition like whoever is going to shop for me on my website it's not going to stop shopping on my website because they're going to start shopping on yours if that makes sense and same with like just social media overall this is so going off topic when it comes to like behind the scenes of not the label but yeah it's just been pretty tricky on learning my path and like what's the correct direction or what to do in this entire journey of mine but long story short i did want to launch june 16 and i decided to give myself a deadline because i feel like i work harder when i have a deadline like it is definitely stressful having a deadline but i prefer it because then it pushes me to work faster or harder i don't know it must be the capricorn in me but basically i wasn't able to do so um everything is ready like i have all the branding everything behind the scenes is ready so like i have the images i have the like thank you cards the shipping stuff like i have everything for it right but the fact that i am creating these pieces by myself by hand it is very time consuming more than i assumed expected even though i knew it was going to be a lot of work which is why i ended up taking two months off taking any like youtube brand deals but yeah man it's been it's been pretty overwhelming and stressful and just like all over the place mentally and you're probably wondering like natalie there's no rush you don't have to rush but honestly like these pieces are summer pieces and i want people to be able to wear them and enjoy them throughout the summer and not just like the last month of the summer you know so i wanted to launch in june and now realistically speaking i would like to launch my next ideal date after the 16 was going to be june 22nd and then now since june 22nd is next week and i know i won't be able to um i feel that june 30th would be cool because it is technically my half birthday since my birthday is december 30th and you know june 30th have birthday even though like number wise is not but whatever that's another thing i'm very much about numbers oddly enough like i have a thing about numbers so i need the number of my launch day to vibe with me maybe i'm crazy but <laughs> i just need it to vibe with me and i like have favorite numbers and numbers that i don't really like so i personally like even numbers and my favorite numbers are two five eight even though five is not an even number but yeah that's that's off topic <sighs> but i just wanted to vent really quickly because i want to capture all the highs and lows about this process so yeah totally forgot to show you guys but look what got here i am currently organizing it these are the poly mailers with the logo i'm obsessed and then we also have here the hang tags love how minimal it is and i also got the thank you cards so i'm currently trying to organize it all here as you can tell I have the medium size, small, and then the other ones are large. I also have some tissue paper, my backdrop. These are just little beads in case I decide to use it. Um, I probably will give you guys a proper, you know, tour once everything is organized. Here we have my graphic designer. <laughs> but we are going to be doing some little behind the scenes and prepping for the website now. Alright, 
so today is the day before launch day i don't even remember the last time i actually vlogged i've basically just been pulling out the camera here and there whenever i'm crocheting so this is my current mess or you know bird's nest with all of my essentials i have my notebooks my laptop i was taking more flat lays because i honestly didn't like the ones that i originally took i've taken like three different rounds of flat lays and every single time there's an issue or like something i don't like about it i'm about to have my last meeting with my graphic designer we're gonna do a zoom version today and go over everything and hopefully you know we situate the website because it's truly been a ride like honestly i'm so grateful that i was able to find a graphic designer that i just vibe with and someone else that can do it better than i can of course so yeah it has for sure lifted a lot of weight off my shoulders but the stress is still there so we're gonna do that meeting now and crochet a whole lot more because i actually don't have all merchandise that i'm going to be announcing i am hoping to finish everything by the weekend since it is going to be a long weekend so fingers crossed Good morning, you guys. Today's the day. Today is the day for launch day, and oh my goodness, I cannot believe the day's finally here. I have so many emotions right now. I am just like so excited, so anxious, scared of this new journey, and ho hoping for it to go well because I've heard so many like stressful stories from launch days for your brand that i really 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 hope nothing glitches today and that everything runs smoothly we did the website trial yesterday and everything went smoothly aside from the fact that my shipping p.o box was saying that like there was an error so hopefully that works because i mean that will be tragic my apartment is a mess like right here looks clean but the actual apartment is such a mess so i have to somewhat organize that and i want to do my makeup so i can hop on stories and talk with you guys and i don't know like feel the vibes the energy and hopefully like pop a champagne or something i don't know by myself i think i have like a miniature one which would be ideal because eric is working so i'm not going to just pop a champagne and make it go to waste so i'm going to try to uh find a miniature one so i can like pop it at 12. but this is the current situation of this room i know <sighs> i'm not even going to i'm gonna put the camera there and start doing my makeup I think I'm gonna do a snap your finger to put on the makeup, so if only it was that easy to do your hair and makeup. I ended up curling my hair, but I'm now going to go ahead and wear one of my Not The Label tops, which I'm really excited about. I haven't drank my coffee today, so gotta do that. Gotta also clean this room, but I think that's gonna be for another time of the day. <sighs> Oh my god <laughs> my heart is too freaking much right now i need to put this in the three <sighs> my stomach hurts <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna throw up oh my god we are five minutes from launch hour I uploaded the YouTube video. I haven't checked my comments or anything because I'm just way too anxious. <laughs> oh my god. We're live. Oh my god. I 
told you guys, I ended up getting the mini champagne because I can't drink a bottle by myself. But, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that it's finally live. And this is actually happening. I FaceTime my friends and I started crying, so I don't want to cry today. I just want to celebrate, be happy, and proud for myself because I've been so hard, so, so hard on myself these past couple of months. Uh, just really overwhelmed, stressed, and honestly lost, like feeling very lost in this whole process. So seeing today coming all together is truly like the cherry on top and it just feels like it's finally coming along because through this all like through the entire process i got so many obstacles that it really made me feel like i wasn't going to be able to to achieve it or do it um a lot of the things i didn't know so obviously it took a lot of researching and googling and finding things out about myself so it's been really 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 stressful but so rewarding at the end oh my gosh like i feel like the fact that quote unquote i did this by myself and on my own it makes it even more like it makes it feel even more amazing if that makes sense of course i had so much help from my graphic designer which i have to give a huge shout out to arling i'm going to be linking her website and also her instagram so you guys can go and check her out she is truly so amazing so professional and just guided me through the entire process of like figuring out shopify and website designing and all of that um she also designed my logo of course just through it all, she has been such an amazing helper and just like a friend as well. Uh, she actually lives close to me, so I'm definitely gonna hang out with her more. But yeah, I'm just really, really happy right now and like in such a high. I still have a lot to do and a lot to crochet. It is Friday and I don't have all of the items done just yet, but I know for Monday I will, hopefully, if I start crocheting right now. Um, and through the entire weekend. It is a long weekend, thankfully, so I'll be shipping out the products on Tuesday because Monday is a holiday. But yeah, cheers to a successful launch day. I can't believe it. <laughs> By the way, as you can tell, the shirt is not a crop top. Like, if you wear high-waisted shorts like I am, it doesn't show your you know, your chichos, as I would like to call them, so. Hello. Oh my gosh, thank you. That's so sweet, thank you so much. Yeah. Me too. Oh my God. You guys, look how cute these are. Wait, I need to read the card. This is so sweet. My management sent me these. Oh my gosh. I love receiving flowers. It's literally like one of my favorite things ever. Good morning. Today I am going to be packing orders and getting them ready to ship tomorrow. Today is actually a holiday, so the post office is closed, but I'm excited to finally prep all of the pieces. I still need to add some gold um, nat stamps and the hang tags and all of that, so let's, let's show you guys.
right, so I finally have some packages ready to go. I am going to make a stop at the post office now and drop off half of the orders because I still need to make a couple more pieces. Uh, but I'll be sending the rest of the orders in two days. All right, back in real time. I hope you guys enjoyed all of those clips. I definitely like reminisced all over again and lived the moment all over again, which was amazing. A little update for you guys. I am currently working on the second launch for this summer, which I'm really excited about because it's going to be regular clothing. So definitely make sure you guys are following us at Not The Labels Instagram and also check out our website. I'm going to be listing it down below for you guys, but I'm so excited for what's to come for not the label and for new crochet projects for new crochet items and also the new pieces that are coming out really soon maybe in the future i'll make a more in-depth video on all of this if you guys are interested maybe a q a i know that i haven't done like a life update q a which i could do that really soon if you guys want to let me know in the comments below which videos you want to see coming up because I am starting to brainstorm ideas. I'm trying to get back into the groove of things. I am definitely all over the place in my life right now with like trying to balance everything out, but I am hoping to hire an assistant really soon. I have some applications to go through which should make my life a lot more simpler once i have someone in my team but anyways thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this long vlog i love you and see you next time bye